Welcome to Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon, the not Castlevania by Koji Igarasha. Iga. Iga. Who was the producer of Castlevania for 20 years until Konami kicked him out the door and he said, You know what? I'm going to make my own Castlevania with strippers and booze and blackjack and laser beam dinosaurs on the moon. But this is the prequel to that game. Is the sound good? Do I need to make it louder? Okay, let's start. Let's start with Bloodustaindu. 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 This is the game. Ooh. It's an 8-bit action game. I'm sure you've played a billion of these before. It's by anti Crates and Art Play. Anyways, Bloodstained is the uh, not Castlevania game by Koji Garashi. We're just gonna start normal. We're gonna show you the new game, veteran. I am not a coward. I am a man. I, you know, there once was a man who had been given the moon's curse by demons. Where's the Doom guy when we need you? That man was Angetsu. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Wrapped in Crimson Guard, like fire, he relentlessly pursued the demons who had cursed him. Relentlessly consumed him. Blah, blah, blah. Story. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Everything's cool, groovy. Is the sound loud enough? Is the sound loud enough? Is the game sound loud enough? This is the, uh, this is Angetsu. He's a big beefy boy who has Belmont Lake Syndrome. Okay, yeah, I could turn up the volume. No problem. I could turn up the volume a little. Oh no, that's not what we wanted. That's not what we wanted at all. Okay, there we go. So, Zangetsu is essentially... Yeah, they are really nice, aren't they? Um, This is created by Inti Crates, the people who did the... Uh, the Mega Man Zero games before they decided to go fuck off and create their own company. I'm really looking forward to, um, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. That's gonna be the, um, game that this one takes place after, or is it an alternate setting? Now, you're wondering why there's forking paths, uh... In this mode, I'm going to be using all the characters. I'm not going to be killing them. You can, um... You can kill the characters... ...in this game, because reasons. That's a different mode altogether. Anyways, yeah. Oh, 
Uh, is this your first time ever seeing gameplay of this game? If you mind me asking. Because this is a very good game. Um, this game is more of, uh, Fumaden than Castlevania in graphical style. Konami got created two horror games for the uh, NES. One was called Getsuma Fumaden, and the other was, of course, Castlevania. You can tell which one spawned the series. Oh, really? Well, you're in for a treat and remarkable feat. They're gonna be Koopas, Troopas, and the others. You're gonna get hooked on the brothers. Instead of uh, health meat, we have wall hearts. We just have wall hearts. Fuck. And I keep fucking up like a dumbass. I've beaten this game, I swear. I've beaten this game. I don't know why I'm cheesing it so bad. Good old Zangetsu has Belmont Lake Syndrome. Eh, that's what I get. For not, you know, paying the fuck attention. That there is basically the holy water from Castlevania. Eat it, brat. I hope so, there's people- I hope there was a support group for people who got hooked on the brothers. And eat my dick, flame. Think of a- ah, oh, fuck! God, I'm so terrible, I am the worst. Jesus, I am eating ass all over this. This is the easiest level of the game, too. I might have to die so I can just restart over again. That's the best part about dying in Infinite Continues. That's what I'm gonna do. And suicide is painless, but it brings on many changes. Like the fact that we have infinite continues. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Now, like in Castlevania, each weapon uses a different amount of weapon energy, so. No one does die for good in video games unless they don't have infinite continues. Thank god this game took after Castlevania and gives us infinite continues. There's even an, uh, uh, the casual mode gets rid of lives and knockback, but since, you know, I'm a man and I pay my own taxes and I can cook my own food, I'm not gonna use casual mode. What am I, baby? I can dress myself, thank you very much. Sorry, I, I shouldn't do that. That's it, come on. I'm gonna kill you, rat. There we go, that's what I wanted. Now, you want to collect the bags in this mode because they give you extra lives by getting more points. If I was doing casual mode, it really wouldn't matter if I collected those bags or not, but we also have inconvenient continues and saves. Okay, well, watch out for that. You hate that, that you cannot jump on that rat. Oh, yeah, um... That's just how this game works, you know? It's just its mechanics. I'm sorry. You see this bit here? Yeah, that's for the other characters. We haven't gotten them yet. 
sorry. Yeah, but I think the rat would bite you, so maybe they're onto the whole rat can hurt you thing. gotta cheese this rock golem here. Ready for cheesing that rock golem. He, he's kind of a... I think that's a good point. I guess I don't have any rat jumping knowledge. Skeleton is our friend. He's here to help us with our problems. Okay, time for the first boss. Now, what could be a, the boss of the first stage? That is it, a train. Oh yeah, it's a train golem. And he eats coal to power his heart of a demon. Demon heart. Demon heart of coal. Now, Zangetsu tears bosses apart. Zangetsu is a boss-killing machine. I hate how they don't have health bars. That's the one thing I really hate about this game. Is this a... Hey, you know what? We could've given them health bars, but fuck you. We didn't. Yeah, there's always nice little touches in this game. Yeah, the people at Inti Crates did pretty good sprite work on this, in my opinion. They've captured the uh, Castlevania style pretty good, and watch out. Here comes his final attack. I'm sorry. Yay, we've got Miriam. Miriam, get. Okay, question chat. Should I kill Miriam? The choice is yours. Should I kill Miriam? Should I kill Miriam? Okay, I won't kill her. Yeah, Zengetsu doesn't like the fact that she can has the power to summon demons. Even though, you know, she she doesn't want the power to summon demons. So this tells you, you know, how to do all that crap. So look. <laughs> Miriam is our Belmont for the game. She can also do the slidey move. That just tells you how to, you know, she also can jump higher and she can slide. If we go back and do that the first stage over again, Miriam can do the slide moves on the uh, areas that we couldn't reach before with just Zangetsu because he's a big beefy boy. Zing 
Miriam is my favorite character to play in this game because I just like her sub weapons. And I'm also used to the, the Belmont controls very easily. That's her that's her sub weapon of free knives. I love that. That's good for aerial enemies. Do, 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 do. I like the fact that none of them share a health bar. None of the characters share a health bar. So that means that you can technically cheese this game by switching out them and getting them back to health and shit. But if one of them dies, they all die, so you gotta be careful about that. I don't think anyone wants to remake Athena. I'm sorry. Now, let's see. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, you should be dead. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Athena could have been good. You're onto something there. Thank you for dying. I know that they're trying to emulate Castlevania, but I really, really wish they did not not go with the Belmont knee. Like, that's the one thing I wish that they changed. Mm -hmm. Ah! Crap! Yeah, if all your characters die, you lose a life, so... I'm forced to use Angetsu now. Now, in the Zangetsu only run, if you kill all the characters, Zangetsu gets special abilities. So if you killed Mariam, Zangetsu gets an air attack. I think if you kill Jeebel, he gets a double jump. I can't remember. I haven't made far in the Zangetsu only mode, so I could be wrong. Piss. I apologize, I'm sorry. I'm being, I'm being just the worst. I'm beating butts here. So, Miriam is a shard brainer, which in the lore of this universe is a person who has these uh, demonic shards of plate glass put into them that they can summon demons with from alchemists. So, she's literally a human demon portal, essentially. And she didn't want to be a human demon but portal. She got experimented on. She's, she's literally... Uh, no. No, it does not get you the bad ending, but it gets you a different ending. Piss. Hmm. <laughs> 
No, but I don't think killing you gets the bad ending. I think, um... I think the only way to get the true ending is to beat uh, the game with the Zangetsu on Nightmare Mode. Zangetsu only. I don't know if that's true or not. But I think I've read that somewhere. I might be wrong. Flying Eyeball Clam. You can bite my ass. Flying Eyeball Clam. I wish Doom Guy was here. He would bring an AK-47 on these demons. Oh, that's right. Oh, little Ollie sleeping on my bed. Now, the frogs I hate the most of this game. They're my least favorite enemy. They're like the flea men in Castlevania. They just hop around, and with your um, jumping arc, they're actually kind of a dick to get. Frankly, aerial enemies in this game could go bite a deck. I'm sorry. That is why I love Jeeble so much. His cheese is incredible for this game. The Jeeble Bat Cheese. God damn. Frogs, I'm sick of you bitches. Oh, well, at least I don't gotta go too far. God damned frogs! You can see what I mean when I say these frogs are shit. I know, is it just. Excuse me for one moment. Eyeball Clam? I'm not fond of you either, Eyeball Clam. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, I'm being a dumbass, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Die? Thank you. I've beaten this game before. Oh. He's immune to the knife. Not a big fan of the sickle weapon. That is if you want to change to casual mode, but we are men. We are not Devo, we are men. And by God, I'm going to do this not casually. You hear me? You hear me, Mom? You hear me, Dad? You hear me, everyone who I thought was a disappointment, huh? Sorry, that was, that was unfunny. Some people do have parents who think they're disappointed. That's it. 
die. Die, Flatwoods monster. Tired. Oh, you must be tired, little buddy. Oh, that's right. I was going the hard path all this time. I completely forgot that Miriam can jump there. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I am an idiot. Local man admits to being an idiot and going the way, the hard way, all this time. Goddamn frogs. Eat my shit, game. Just... Open up my mouth. I'm gonna make you eat my shit, video game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm being so terrible at this. Um, question. What stream would you, the viewers, like to see next? Would you like to see more of this, or would you like to see Rygar, or Flash Games? I mean, like, tomorrow, not later on today. Once I'm done with this, I'm done with this for the night. I still cannot get Wibble World to work. I am I I went to the hardcore gaming forum and asked for help, but no one's answered to, to me, so I don't know what I'm doing. The power of Amiga consumes me. But I will try. I will try to get that to work. Oh! Oh! Well, I know some pretty wibbly Flash games. Would you like to see some pretty wibbly Flash games? That's some bullshit right there. Those are bullshit plants. show you some bullshit weirdo flash games that I remember being kind of shit. I mean, you know, no mind to tell you, the audience. Fuck. God, I'm terrible. I am the worst. By the way, the sub-weapon has its own dedicated button. Thank you. Thank you, game designers, for being merciful. Piss. That's all I'm going to say is piss. I'm sorry for being such a failure. Society was right. Do -do 
Holy butts, I did it. so I can hit him with my sword. does is make Zangetsu's attack stronger, which is only good for bosses. I don't really care for the sub-weapon. Not a fan of it. Eat that. Eat that. Thank you, Bat. I'm frustrated because I'm not talking. I'm sorry. I slid right into that. God. Now you know what it's like to not have a life to have. You get what I'm saying. Sand for brains. That's what I was gonna say. Sand for brains. Life with a waffle for a head and life with sand for brains. The Ted Miller story. <laughs> Sorry, I wanna show you this game and here I am just constantly goofing up. Wafflehead Fred is dead. That is canon. He's dead and he's never coming back. Zangetsu, why did you pick a very short sword as your weapon? I will never know.
fuck, I'm not eating butt anymore. I'd like to apologize on behalf of the Ten Miller community for his idiocy. Face inches at this point. Oh, that's right, I have to jump and attack there. That's right, I have to jump and attack there. I have to jump and attack there, don't I? Fucking bats. Fucking frogs. Jesus Christ, I am the worst. Tap dancing, mother of God. I am the worst. say some very controversial things right now. But I won't. I'm sorry. I apologize greatly for that. Odd take. Scully was always right. Muller, Mulder should have listened to her more often. Wanna hear a fan theory I have for X Files? Okay, my fan theory is that Mulder is in fact actually an alien, and that's why they took their took his sister. Because they were human alien hybrids. The truth is out there. <laughs> I just like Scully better. Scully is my favorite character out of those two. What was the name of the um guy who replaced Scully in the later seasons? they were going to make him psychic later on. Yeah, that's interesting. But who's the guy who became his partner in the later seasons? Thank you, that's it, Doggett. I thought Doggett was okay. My stepdad liked uh, X-Files back in the day. I used to know how to play the X-Files theme on the keyboard. my fault for miscommunicating this. 
Here's our boss, by the way. It's Demon Gamera. Friend to all children and... I kind of liked Doggett. Doggett was an okay dude, in my opinion. I keep fucking that shit. Did you see any... You see the new X Files series, by the way, Cosby? Is it is that any decent? The new episodes. That's just how that it's gonna be with, like, all shows. I don't think I ever remember that episode, I'm sorry. I mostly just watched it with my, um, with my stepdad. I watched X Files with my stepdad one day, so I don't have any real um, affinity to them either way. I'm sorry. Oh, it was not that great. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. They weren't. Oh, okay, thank you. Later on, that would be great. Um, back in the day when I went to high school and years and years ago there was this like this show really early on like like four or five o'clock in the morning and I have no idea what it was called but it was about like paranormal stuff and I used to watch that while eating breakfast and getting ready for like school that day and I really 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 want to remember what it was called but I it's beyond me it was like on a can't remember like sci-fi or something like that and I just can't remember its name. It was like a documentary show where they would talk about like UFOs and um paranormal shit. It was, it was really interesting. It was hosted by like these two guys. That's all I really remember of it. But it was on like four or five in the morning or something like that. It was I'm sorry. I'd like to apologize. I'm sorry. Fuck. When they they did this episode on like the Area 51 museum, like the uh, they had you know the the, the museum where they an area like what's it called Roswell, the Roswell Alien Museum. They went there 
Minecraft one time, and I was really interested in that, because I've always been fascinated with the, uh, topic of, um, xenobiology. Oh yeah, me too. I really wish there were more. Just because the problem is, it's either like ancient alien. What if aliens built the pyramids? Bullshit. That's not what I'm interested in, and I'm wanna. I wanna have an actual discussion about like biology of other planets, but it's usually like ancient aliens? Question mark. Chariots of the God? Question mark. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be, you know, making fun of that because they're. But I'm not a big... I am very, very... I find the concept of ancient aliens to be very, very offensive to ancient peoples. I'm sorry. And their achievements. I see. Yeah, but I'm I'm a firm no on that. Which is which is interesting because some of my favorite um, you know, Artists and authors have been very influenced by Eric Von Donneken's book, uh, Charity of the Gods. Like, uh, Jack Kirby, the uh, comic book artist, was a huge Von Donneken fan. He was absolutely a, he was a fan of Von Donneken's work, and um, that's why a lot of Von Donneken's ideas ended up kind of influencing Jack Kirby's work in his later on in life. So there's a lot of, like, what if all the monsters humanity ever met were just actually space aliens kind of stuff. Like, Von Donnegan's book is a, I want to say, like, a seminal work. But I really don't take it seriously as, like, a piece of science. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Uh, for instance, Jack Kirby... Uh, in the 30s and 40s, he started writing um, romance comics because he was getting tired of doing superhero stuff. He was great. He also had to share his special fetish with all of us, which was big muscular women. Like I said, in a way, they are essentially modern-day myths. Like, like it's clearly obvious that Big Barda is his special fetish. He also based Big Barda off of his wife and uh, fitness models. He would also use fitness models as a reference for his superheroines. 
Yeah, that is kind of sweet. Um, fun fact, Jack Kirby, when they were making the, uh, the movie that Argo was based off of, Argo, they actually, Jack Kirby worked for the government a little bit, creating art, and it's beautiful, and I really wish someone actually used it in a real movie. Oh, what is that complaint? I'm sorry. Do you mind me asking? I think I'm done with this game. I think I'm done with this game. I think I'm done with this game. I'm sorry. Okay, what was this thing that you noticed with DC?